What's going on guys? Check it out Qgen HQ. My name is Chris and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's a good one. Today's a versus video. The very popular Ducky 1 2 Mini versus the Obens and Pro 2. Two extremely popular keyboards. Literally probably the most popular keyboards on planet Earth right now. Everyone is talking about these keyboards. And end of 2018, early 2019, going strong. People love these two keyboards. I've been up at four or five in the morning when a normal human being should be asleep, but I'm in that YouTube wormhole. Don't judge me. We've all been there. And I'm just watching a review video after review video. And I'm in those comment sections. I am, you know, lurking those comment sections. I am Lord of the Lurk. All right. I am down those stairs. I am down those comment stairs, three, four, five pages in, and I'm seeing the same comments on each video. Every now and then you'll get someone to say, hey, man, don't buy this keyboard. Buy the Obens and Pro. It's better. Hey, don't buy you know the Obens. Buy the Ducky. It's, you know, Tifo uses it. It's a great keyboard. Well, at the end of the day, personally, I've had the luxury to own both these keyboards and review both these keyboards here on the channel. And I really can't pick a deadlock winner um, because they're just great keyboards. They really are really neck and neck. They're phenomenal keyboards. But today I'm going to go over some personal pros and cons that I you know, think the keyboards have. And maybe that'll help you guys make a conscious decision if you're out there with limited funds and you want to make that right purchase. But I also want to know which one you guys think is better overall. Not, not really better, but which one you guys would purchase and maybe why. Let me know down below in the comment section which one would take the gold in your opinion. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, the top left, we have the Ducky 1, 2 Mini, and the bottom right, the Obenzan Pro 2. Off the bat, you guys have to admit, these are both very good looking boards. They both really nail what you want when purchasing a 60% keyboard. That is a minimalistic look, very thin bezel, kind of where the keycaps are just floating here, saves you a lot of desk space. Now, speaking of keycaps, they're both made with double shot PBT, so they're very durable and they will last you a long time. Both boards come with a random assortment of colors when it comes with a bonus keycap here. Um, the Obenzan Pro 2 comes with these pastel colors with every purchase, where the duckies kind of come with their own random assortment of colors that you just can't choose. Plus the year the dog space bar, which I think is a really cool bonus. They also come with their own keycap pullers here, and they also come with USB Type-C chargers to power the boards. It's a shame though that the chargers are not braided. Let's take a closer look at each board. First up, the Ducky 1-2 Mini. I'll tell you right now that it's a very thin plastic. It sits in there is a slight flex to it, which I do not like. The plastic is so thin that the LEDs, you can even see them through the back of the board when it's on. It does have a dip switch though, which is awesome. And the dip switch basically enables you to take your function key and move it to wherever you want to be on the board for full and more customization. Two different size adjustment when it comes to feet, which is always a plus, just in case you might like the board to sit a little higher or lower, all users' preference. Taking a look at the Obenzan Pro, uh, I'll tell you right now, there's no flex in this board, which I was shocked about. It's a very thick plastic, and there's just no flex. Very, very sturdy. The back of the board has no size adjustment and no dip switch, just an on-off switch, which I'll get into in a little bit of a moment here. But I'll tell you right now, guys, that when comparing these boards side by side, you will notice a very, very slight size difference. Uh, looking at the Ducky 1-2, you can see it's a little bit longer, maybe about a half an inch. Nothing too crazy, nothing that's going to say, whoa, this is too insane, but there is a size difference. You can see the uh, both boards here are about the same size when they're laying flat and the ducky can raise way higher. So keep that in mind. That could be, you know, something that might make a difference to you. So let's briefly touch on the RGB. Both keyboards have RGB. It's 2019. Everything has to be RGB. And I personally like that because it's more customization. And you can basically set your keyboard to look however you want it to. It's pretty cool. So both keyboards extremely vibrant. I don't have any complaints when it comes to the vibrancy of the keyboards. The LEDs are very, very bright. They shine very nicely. Um, very, very cool. The Ducky 1, 2, everything saves directly to the board. There's no program you have to download. Everything is built into the board itself. You just hit Function Alt T and you can cycle through uh, many different, I, be I believe it's like nine different profiles that are already pre-saved on the board. Um, go ahead, bust out the manual if you want to learn more about it and really dive in to more customization. But when it comes to the Obenzan Pro 2, I feel like the customization is a little bit more in depth because they have an app that you could download called the Obens Lab, where you could literally sit there and go through many different color spectrums, change each key to be its own color uh, going through the app, and it will save directly to the board. Even when the board's unplugged, it will save to the board itself for future use. You can plug it to a new PC, it will still work. Now, when you unplug both these boards, 
the ducky is done. It's dead. But the on-off switch here has a purpose. Turn it on. Go ahead and hit the uh, function key and 9, and boom, it comes back to life because this is a Bluetooth-capable keyboard. Yes, it has 4.0 Bluetooth built into it. Does not ship with the dongle if you have to plug it to something else. Dongle's like 99 cents. You get it anywhere you want, but it does not come with it. Keep that in mind. But the Bluetooth is cool. Do I expect you to game with it? No. But if you're having a lazy day, you want to sit back on your couch, browse the internet, you could do that with this keyboard. When it comes to switches, both are mechanical keyboards. I went with the Silent Cherry MX Reds for the Ducky. They're only available in Cherry MX. And then the Gatoron Blues in the AND Pro. I believe there's new switches you can get for it now, though. Let's go ahead and do a little sound test. When it comes to gaming, there's not much of a difference here. It's going to be, you know, user's preference. Uh, personally, I think they're both perfect when it comes to gaming. I mean, navigating around both boards for me is very easy. Now, that could be, you know, because I'm used to using a 60% board numerous times here in the past. Um, I feel like the navigation on the Ducky is a little bit more in-depth than the Obens and Pro 2, but make sure you take the time and go through that manual. But they're both very comfortable. They take up very minimalistic desk space. You have a lot more room here for your mouse and wrist uh, and your arm when you're gaming. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you're not used to using a 60% board, give yourself about a day, day and a half to get used to it. So let's go ahead and break down the final pros and cons of each board. Do a little bit of a recap here. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Ducky. Off the bat, between the two, I like the Ducky look-wise a little bit more than the AND Pro 2. I do like that they give you that little added uh, Year the Dog space bar. The other keycaps don't really, you know, do anything for me because they're just too random. Some have LED pass-through, some don't. That's a little weird to me, but it's cool that you get them. But when it comes to keycaps, it's no big deal because you can always customize those. Uh, I really do love the height adjustment of this keyboard just because it's preference. If I want to play with it higher, my wrist are bothered me, I can play with it lower, vice versa. Very, very cool. Um, the dip switch is dope too because I can then take my function key and basically put it wherever I want on the board here. Better navigation. It's all uh, you know user preference here, but some people are different. And if let's say the function key is not working out for me in the position that it is now, very simple to go ahead and just move it. Um, biggest downfall of the board, I'm gonna tell you right now, is definitely how thin the case of this board is. I stated earlier that you can even see the LEDs through the back if you really take a close look at it. Um, you know. And why does that bother me is because is this board going to last me a year or two? After some wear and tear, will this board really hold up? I mean, right now, you're not going to hear any problems. It's still such a new board here, but will it last me in the long run? So I'm going to say right now, overall, I do love the Ducky. Um, it's a great, great keyboard. Comes in at $100. The Silent Cherry uh, MX Reds that I have here are 105 Every other Cherry MX is just a $100 uh, price point. If you do want the reds, regular reds, you're looking at like a month, month and a half wait last time I checked. Keep that in mind. There is a two to three week wait just to get this board in general. Um, so it is a very popular board. People are purchasing this board. Um, yet again, the RGB is beautiful. Uh, I love everything is saved to the board. You know, there's really no major difference between both boards when it comes to RGB. Biggest downfall though, I'm going to say, is the thin plastic of this board. But $100, not too bad. The Obenzan Pro 2, a very solid mechanical gaming keyboard. Absolutely no flex in this board. It's a nice thick plastic. It's very, very comfortable, easy to navigate through. Uh, the RGB, super vibrant, just as vibrant as the Ducky. Um, has a little bit more customization than it comes than the Ducky does, but that comes at a price as having that application that you have to go ahead and download. It is very cool that everything saves to the board afterwards, even if you unplug it and disconnect the Bluetooth or whatever. 
you know, speaking of the Bluetooth, that's a huge added bonus. Not when it comes to gaming, but a keyboard that you can just unplug and just kind of take anywhere with you and hook it up to another PC or a different device and just lay back on your couch or your bed and navigate, that's awesome. You know, that takes your, your gaming keyboard as a little more versatile. Yeah, you might not be gaming with it, but I really do like that it has that Bluetooth capability. It's kind of a one-up here. The price of this keyboard is $80. It's a little bit cheaper than the uh, Ducky 1-2 Mini, but, um, you know, Obens is a Chinese company here, and they definitely don't have as much clout as Ducky does. They've not been around nearly as long as Ducky has been. Um, but I feel that because it's such a new company, they kind of want the extra step here to make this keyboard a little bit more durable compared to, you know, how Ducky went ahead with that thin plastic here. Um, biggest downfall of this keyboard, there's no height adjustment. Uh, you have to use the, the application to save everything to the board. Um, you know, the Bluetooth is cool. You can't game with it. But uh, I guess that would be the biggest downfall. I mean, like I said in the beginning, both these keyboards are very, very awesome keyboards. I mean, just because you have the keyboard, like I said, the duck is a little thin, I'm, I'm really not going to not use it. I still want to use it. It's very comfortable. Uh, navigation on the M Pro is a little bit easier than the Ducky. There's a lot of back and forth when it comes to these two keyboards, so I can see why they're so, you know, uh, well, highly spoken about. But now, I need to hear what your opinion is. I know this video is a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I had to just hit every single point. Let me know what you guys like about both keyboards, what you dislike about both keyboards, which keyboard you happen to like better, and why. I'm really curious to hear your opinion. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. I want to grow this community together with you guys, and I can do that with the help of you guys. Uh, like the video, share it with a friend, follow me on all that social media, all those places. I do stream on Twitch from time to time. Come say what's up, play some Sea of Thieves, watch me do dumb things. <laughs> all right, guys, I uh, hope the video helped you out. Like I said, your opinion matters most. All right, guys, I love each and every one of you. Peace out.